Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in our city of, as you've named it, New Zealand. Yes, what a fantastic name. Gotta get used to saying that instead of Teville, Teaport, Tahiti, all the other names that we've had over the years. I'm very excited about today's episode. We're going to really dig into mass transit a lot more. We've had some buses, as you can see, a bus right here. How fortuitous. Um, but we are going to be working on trams. And I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with trams this time. We're not going to be uh, replacing a whole load of roads, turning them into tram roads. I want to do something a little bit different. Now, let's just dive out of this view here. Uh, there we go. Have a nice error. Fantastic. So a couple of things since last episode. I've got the high it mod on now so it's removing the ridiculous fog that you get over the industry areas so you still get the smoke and stuff but it's not quite not quite as bad as it was before uh, and before we dive into our trams i'll tell you what i'm thinking actually is over here i'm thinking of making this a mini little transport hub because i'm thinking as i expand down round to here i want to be able to people to hop on a tram hop on a bus and be able to go to different places around here and then this sort of seems a natural break down this way where then if they want to get somewhere else they might take the road that's my idea anyway something along those lines i've still got like the ground pollution on which i've sort of deliberately kept because i think if you remove the look of the ground pollution it actually removes the effect of the ground pollution which i don't want to do and for instance there was a house along here complaining about the ground pollution although they've stopped now so <laughs> maybe they've just got used to it this tea tastes funny is it the ground pollution okay something i want to change along here is this little road here that i found from vanilla plus plus it is a three lane one plus two with bus and as we come along here we can see our bus stops uh actually that one is both sides of the road and so is that one mm, is there one that's got it both sides of the road four lane two way bus yeah that's the one we want really isn't it so are there actually is bus stop both side of the road here as well i'm blind okay well let's do that then so what i'm thinking is if we do this all the way along here i'll come back and sort out any traffic lights and stuff in a sec because it seems like it's putting them all in uh, so we'll give everybody a bus lane do we need to carry on the bus lane around here yeah let's carry it on around here up to the end then it can go to that road and then what i'm thinking of is this road here that's the car road in the middle so they only ever had one lane each way for cars anyway is to just change this one so if they want to go right oh, that seems a bit weird though doesn't it they'll be cutting in front of the buses i don't know whether the bus actually goes up there or not let's see what this bus does yeah maybe not for the turning right because yeah you don't want them cutting in front of the bus but that going the other way like this one here i've made this lane straight on and left so the buses tend to stay in that road straight on and left oh it's done it automatically down here that's good yeah there we go the bus is staying the outside one and the car seemed to take that one that's okay yeah i'm happy with that and then traffic lights don't need traffic lights all the way along here let's just remove those remove those 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 should be give way so we'll just do that instead bom, 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 bom. all the way along there oh that's not that busy you probably don't even need give way but that's what we've got there we go excellent just to help with the buses Round there because what was happening the cars are coming round, getting stuck behind the bus but now they take this lane there's all the people waiting for the bus well i'm not going to adjust the bus lines we could do with more buses but what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this little hub over in this area which means that this is going to have to move which we just threw that in didn't we um in a previous episode will that fit against that that way it is pretty wide isn't it so what we're going to do we're going to pop it at the end of the farm over here again just for now and then at some point it will get moved to its own little area but that's not what we're doing today i want it to face that way perfect the fire helicopter depot i mean that looks all right there doesn't it fits in well enough right by the water which is what you need right by these funky little lighthouses i love these i think they look cool okay good so we'll leave that there um and then yeah this little bit over here let's just pause one second i'm going to remove these and apparently i don't know who i saw using this but if you have the earthquake sensors let's put this one on that has an area of effect which will continue the power so i'm not quite sure how big that is not very big so if you went there 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 oh my goodness these cost 3500 what no 
Sorry. No. No. I'm forgetting that we haven't... We're not made of money. Oh, man. And I've spent 10,000 moving this, I think. And we need... 30,000 for our tram hub. So I'm going to have to just let the game run for a small while just so we can get some more money and then I'll be back with you. Okay, money is building up very slowly, so I am going to pause the game and take a 60,000 tea leaf loan. There we go, we now have 94,000. And we're going to head back round here to this area between Green Tea Park and Green Tea Fields Farm. That is the idea. So let's just have a look at this. I'd like this to be a separate uh separate area than this so i'm just gonna have a quick look on here for i'm trying to get used to the look of these roads because i'm so used to the network extensions 2 mod let's have that one come down there yeah that'll do so we've got two ways going in like that i'm also going to yeah i'll leave it like that and then i'll give give way coming out excellent and then we'll just get back to a normal road for on here so let's have a look i want this one to curve around and sort of mimic almost the road that's down here a little bit like that and then this one this side could hmm let me just move that over a little bit i don't want to go all the way into the trees but that can mimic the road on that side there we go excellent and then in here we are gonna have Okay, so we've got along the front here to the cemetery area and I'm just wondering whether we can use that little turnaround section uh, where the cemetery is. Let's just complete this little bit of road here. Yep, there we go, that's fine. Um, to have this as the turnaround, I think that actually might work quite well. Um, we've got this as a one-way road, so if we upgrade this like that and then have this little section here do, 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 do. let's have a look yeah we've got these other ones here two lane two-way road with tram but it looks like the tram only goes one way is that right but it's not hooking up to that is it oh there we go look if we do that yeah that is exactly what we want so two lane road but tram going one way and then we can hook this up um i would actually say let's delete that and we're gonna hook that up to there like that yes let me just move all this up a bit and make it look a bit nicer and then what i'm thinking is let's just grab no nope, that's not what i want the pick a mod let's grab a piece of this road here and i'm gonna draw that coming straight out alongside there i'm gonna get rid of a few of these little trees and bushes and things just to save the tree count and this is gonna move over to here no road access, 
Empty building to another facility. Oh, yes, I've turned that into actual just tram track rather than tram and road track. Do you know what? Don't tell anybody I'm going to use the move it mod. <laughs> We're going to shift that over here. And hopefully that will work okay right there. Let's just make that the right height. Uh, select that. Control H. Let's just see what happens. That is like sagging into the water. We need a little bit of work on the land. Let's just right click there. Lift that up a bit. There we go. That should be fine. Yep, that's okay. Excellent. And then we can just have this as our turnaround. Cool. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm just thinking actually whether to have this as actual road because then we could have our buses come up here as well. Maybe. Let's give that a go. Um, so if we go like this... There we go. And we can have this as our little bus hub terminal type sort of thing. Um, what have we got? Bus road. Let's get a little small bus road. Bus road Bus road with tram would be fantastic. Is there? No, there isn't. But how about something like this instead? If we came up to, say, there. Let's move that rock. Keep the rocks. Do that there and that there. And then we could also have that there and that there. And we could have these as other little bus stops in the middle just to make this teeny tiny little hub. Maybe we can see how it works out. Okay, so this now runs all along the front, which is good. Smack up against the road. Hopefully it's all nicely organized so it looks good. Might need a little bit of tweaking here and there. Let's just follow this along. And people can cross over and walk onto the roads. Oh, darn it. We seem to have some trees in the middle. That is very weird. Let me get rid of those. Ah, oh, okay. Look, these are big. Look at that. It's got like three or four or five trees and a bush all in the middle of it. So even though the tram doesn't go through the middle of that, it still, yeah, it doesn't recognize that there's trees on the end. So we just do a little bit of maneuvering along there. Let's continue along. Yeah, like this one here. That'll be a collection of three trees all together. Yeah, there we go. This needs to move up just a tiny amount. There we go. Oh, another one. Let's get rid of that. Don't want people driving through trees if they can help it. There's another couple here. So that'll be that one and that one. Excellent. And then we should be all the way back to the beginning. There we go. Round the roundabout and all the way along the main road. Don't think I've missed anything, but we shall see. Right, so then I want to connect that road up. In fact, we could just have that road connected up to here, couldn't we? And have the tram then on this one. I think that would work out perfectly fine. Make sure I really hope I'm using the right roads and not suddenly realise I've put trolleybus roads in everywhere. That would be good, wouldn't it? Then we'd have to do it all again. But no, I think we're fine. And then we'll upgrade that. There we go. And then we have the money... Let's just have a look. Make sure that's not going to... Yeah, might need to do a tiny bit of landscaping. Or, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take this road here. We're going to bring that one up to there. Is that enough room to get it in? Oh, not quite. Teeny speck further. Teeny speck. Thank you very much. Pop that one in there. It's still going to say cannot build on water. Well, there we go. Excellent. If I take that out... Can they turn around at the end? I think we've had this question before. They may need a little turnaround spot, but we shall see. Uh, let's just do a little bit of landscaping here. Nothing too complicated. And then we'll put that strength down and just do a brief brush across there. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's fine. Water's not going in. Excellent. And then all I'd like to do along the back here, if we just grab those trees. So we're going to do that. Double click on trees. Personal wind turbines. I do you know what? I don't think I'd allow that. So no, you may not. And I just want some of these trees. Looking like the land is a little bit polluted along here. Well, it might just be because there's sand. I'm not sure. There we go. Just some trees around the back there. Like so. Yeah, I think that looks okay. So let us see what we're going to do along here with our tram. So let's grab our tram stop. Now, we do have this over here. If we can connect this up with walking paths, that's going to help people get there. But I am going to have, if I put that on there and then do this, ha-ha. So we can have a new line going down here. And then 
the buses are probably going to change as well. So I just need to put a bit of thought into this. Right, I've decided to put a turnaround sort of spot on the end here because I'm 99% sure they won't turn around in here. I'm sure we have that question every single time <laughs> I ever do anything like this. So I'm going to come across here and I'm going to run them sort of every couple of blocks along here, possibly actually where the bus stops are at the moment. Now, I had a lot of people saying about my stops, my bus stops in my last uh, episode. Why are they so close together? People will walk a long way for a bus stop. That is true. And for any sort of stop, they will walk quite a distance. But there is an area of effect around every single stop that helps people um, feel like they need to upgrade grade their houses so having them like this that's sort of about the area of effect same over here um it will definitely help with uh, upgrading so that is the reason why i don't go too far with my stops um like this one here i'm going to put one here for the school and then i'm also going to put one here let's go a little bit further with this one actually there we go and we'll spread that out We'll go one in the middle there. Yeah, one next to this one. And then we've got this sort of turnaround spot over here. So I'm literally going to stop it right out here where the bus stops are going to be. And then we're going to do the same on the way back. Now, the ones on the way back, you might think, well, what's the point? There's nothing on this side of the road. Nothing yet. Uh, we'll do there and then we'll complete it up. There we go. Nothing yet on this side of the road. There will be beach stuff down there. Um, but also they can cross over the track. So... It means that people coming from this other direction don't have to go all the way around the whole loop just to get to where they want to go. Right. Hello. Where's our trams? Come on now. I'd like to see one of my brand new, newly paid for trams and take a little ride along our route. Any volunteers? Well, when it says not enough water, you need to listen to the people. So let's add that in. Um, let's make sure we've got our power connection going from here to here. Whoops, which I haven't had. And that should be everything we need to get a tram out. Let's uh, take a look. Hey, here we go. Right, let's take a trip along this line and see what it looks like. One bonus, of course, of having the tram next to the street um, is you're not going to, you know, make all the traffic chock a block just because you've got your tram running down the middle. Oh, we're coming up to the roundabout here. <laughs> so hang on to your tea bags. Lean one way, lean the other way. Yeah, so you get the benefit of the tram without clogging up your streets, which is always a, a good thing in my books. Here we go, and we're swinging around now, coming up to the little section where we're going to have our bus stops on the left-hand side. There we go, fantastic. So let's come out of that view. Now, something I am just wondering as we come along here, I know people will walk across these, but just in case, we are going to take our node controller, and the nodes like this, right by the crossings, I am just going to put a... Oh, it's not actually going to let me put a crossing on. Can I turn those on? Or now that I've added a node in, can I do it like this? I can. Oh, there we go. So you can't see it, but they will cross over there. I thought I could make it so I, you could see it. If I go bend, you turn... If I turn that on and off, it's going to put traffic lights, which I don't want. Custom, no. No junction markings. No, okay. Well, they can cross over anyway, so that's good. So, as you can see there, if you put a road against it, they will be able to do it. But I think I'm going to put a crossing like that at every node that's near every junction. So, actually, I probably don't need to use that mod. We can just use this mod here and say, yes, you can cross. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, just a little trick while I'm doing this. Um, I'm struggling with this tool here to grab. There's a node right here because it's so close to that node. If I use the Move It mod, look, you can see there's a node there. But if you use the Move It mod, drag the node away, 
then use the traffic manager junction restrictions tool set the crossing and then go back to the move it mod and do control z boink it will stick it back again and you can have it set up as you want right it's put nine vehicles on there i think we'll leave it at that for now that's fine we'll just change the color from the default color green um what can we call this so we've got green tea fields farm and it runs all the way down to earl gray end so let's name that accordingly let's jump in here let's grab that so that's green fields to earl gray there we go excellent that's good and then as time goes on we're going to get more people hopefully queuing up and using these things that are costing us money right so let's run along and look at our bus stop so over here we've got this little micro bus hub what bus stops do we have in this area uh, what bus services i should say so we've got this one. Oh, that's our tram we've got this one here that comes down so what we could do is grab that and add a stop in there yeah let's go yeah let's go there and is that oh yeah this one goes all over the place doesn't it do you know what we're going to do we are actually going to redo our bus lines yeah let's redo our bus line so that's going to go that's going to go excellent and this is going to be a new little hub if people want to get to somewhere this is how they do it so where could we first set this up we want them to come up over here to our industry so we are going to have these little stops along here we're going to have one there we're going to have one here and then it's going to swing back round and sort of do a bit of a loop and it's also going to come to this industry over here how about that so it's going to bring you up into the middle of here yep and then back again yeah let's do back again as well so we're going to go there and there and then all the way back finish that loop excellent so that is going to be our industry line industry line one and actually as that line comes along the front here by all of this residential i'm going to add a couple of stops in here just on that side of the road oh, it's right by a junction but i want it near those tram stops we'll do one there and one there like we had before excellent and then the time has come we need to buy this square here because we're not able to do what we want to do Ten thousand. oh we've just got to do it that is our next tile so if you want to expand anywhere <laughs> we're coming out to this desolate rock oh my goodness me what is the name of this desolate rock going to be um and what could we build on it leave me some suggestions in the comments below highland district yeah tea related island related what could we have on there let me know so can we now hook up this road here i want this road going through oh look at that look at those arches coming through under these arches somehow and then curving round through here oh man this is going to be interesting um what have we got here let's grab oh is that like the big piece of rock it is isn't it i wanted to grab this piece of road um yeah all right we'll have to do it this way let's change this to nodes grab that node bring that through to here and then go page up oh man i'm gonna have to like remove a whole ton of stuff to get that to fit through here okay let's do some stuff removing Right, I think we've almost got it. It's taken a little bit of jiggery pokery to try and get this uh, to work. So putting this as a as a raised piece like this enabled it to. Let's just can we go up with these? Let's just see if we can grab this node here. There we go. But we have got a bit of this rock overhanging as well, which is a little bit annoying. Let's hold Alt to move that along. There we go. So I'm not sure whether there might be a perfect way of getting that to go through there. It might just be that we have to sort of use our imagination. We 
because we are trying to squeeze it through an asset that wasn't made to have it like that. Oh, actually, if we go up a little bit like that, that is not too bad. Maybe we could swing this one out a bit over here. Let's make that the same height. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That is almost, that is almost perfect through there. It's going to be a windy road with a teeny tiny piece of... Uh, let's just get these two lanes through the middle there. There we go. Look at that. And those rocks are sort of on the um, outside. If we add another little... There we go. Add another little something in there. And then we might be able to just sort of squidge that over enough that it doesn't look too weird with those rocks there and then we can do the same over here so if we add another node say there and then use the move it mods we can just curve that through the rock and then the rocks are only on these sort of outside little lanes rather than let's go and have a look let's go and have a look so you can still drive through here without hitting any rock up and over into the tunnel well it's obviously closed in that view and then it comes out the other side and then connects up to there. Oh, that is just, that is just. I saw that suggested in the comments that you have to just do that and I've done it. <laughs> that is brilliant. Thank you for that suggestion. I love that a lot. Brilliant. Right, so now we're going to set up our next bus route. That's going to start from our little mini hub that we're making. And that's going to come through here. And we've got our little tourism chai waterfront and our Magnolia National Park. Uh, this road is one way though so as it comes down this main route um, I am going to add some stops in so we've got the school so let's go up round by the school yep that'll be fine uh, another one over here then it's going to come down this road round the back and if I can find my park entrances so there's a park entrance there comes along here there's another one comes along here that to me looks like another one. I think that's another one there. This is the main one. So we'll just sort of go there. And then back up in the middle here where our entertainment area is. And then it can come back out again all the way back around here. And close up with that. Where is that going to turn around? All the way up there. It's a shame that can't... Oh, I see. When it's gone out, it's had to go all the way back up there. Okay, that's fine. So why has it done that and not just turn left there? Hmm... It's got stuck in that lane. I don't know why it's done that. It doesn't need to. It could come change lanes and go left instead, like this purple one. But it's decided to go up there. Do you know what? You know what? As I don't think there's going to be many... <laughs> I say I don't think there's going to be much coming up here, but there is, isn't there? <laughs> there's going to be absolutely tons. I'll leave it like that for now. Just because the bus is turning around at the top there isn't the end of the world, so... Yeah, let's go with that. So we also are going to need a name for this little hub down here, which at some point is going to have a load of detail done to it. At the minute, it's Fawn Hills. Let me know any suggestions you have in the comments below. Please don't connect there. Thank you very much. And then we're just going to change the name of that second route. How many buses it put on there for us? 10 vehicles okay we'll leave it like that for now let's just change that to a little bit of yellow and that is going to be so what what do we say i mean if this is like i'm always going to sort of say that north is this way i'm always going to look at the map in this direction because that's how we started so we could say that's the east to west line something like that yeah why not that'll do let's change that so if we do east to west and as time goes on these might get adjusted a bit but yeah that's fine there we go so maybe let's add oh yeah 10 buses when they first start are all going to be clumped up against one another as time goes on i'm sure they will spread themselves out do we have any just bus and no road vehicle ones no uh, no we don't okay that's fine well let's add um a little bit of detail to this area
to say I absolutely love the way this has turned out. That road through the mountain there and that tunnel. Mwah! Lovely. And this little wiggly road down here until we get to our new little terminal that we've got, which is working really, really well. Managed to get some of those little car parks in down there as well. If you don't know how to do that, you might have seen in my time lapse. I tried to copy them from over here because we've got some this side. Oh, there's a different model one as well i didn't realize but if you have a look at this this zone here this district has been marked with organic and local produce and if you have a two by two let's look at it like this you can get that small one but if you have a three by two you get this one with a little oh, i didn't realize that um i tried to copy them over but i couldn't quite line it up with the grid so i've just put a little district here and i've set this actually do you know what i could just set it all to this district couldn't i i don't need another little one let's grab that there do, oh, pause the game, do that, and then mark all of this down as organic and local produce. There we go. And then if I wanted to, I could make one of them. I'm going to do that. I'm going to see if I can get this one to spawn in a little bit bigger. Let's move the fence over. And then once they're in, uh, mark them as historical building, and they'll never go, which is good. I'm going to delete this one and see if we can get the larger one in. Oh, there we go. Look, the very next thing to spawn in is that excellent so we'll mark that historical building and we get two different types of car park there that is brilliant and look at all the people coming in here to use this we are definitely going to be having to increase our buses but that is something we'll look at in a future episode and we've still got spaces to add more stops to go to other places as well well, what do you think of what we've done this episode? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, we need a name for this area as well. Thank you for your continued support with New Zealand. And I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>